Today we're going to examine the Siglent SDG 1025. This is a two-channel function generator capable of arbitrary waveforms. This is part of the SDS 1000 series with units from 10 MHz to 50 MHz. First, let's look at some of the functions each of these units show. We're starting out on sine wave, but it will start on whatever the last function you used was. There's also square wave, ramp, pulse, noise, and arbitrary wave. Now let's go back to the sine wave. We're going to monitor our signal function generator with a digital oscilloscope. And we'll turn on our output. Sorry. There are various aspects of each waveform that we can control. We can control the frequency. You can either have a, a large adjustment or a much smaller adjustment. And the same for your period. We can control the amplitude, or the level above the zero, or we can also adjust the DC offset. Excuse me, that was the level below the zero, or the DC offset, which is a very fine tune adjustment. So as we mentioned before, this is a two-channel function generator. Now since we've already pushed both output channels, we'll monitor them with the oscilloscope by pushing the auto button. Now, we had previously adjusted the frequency of channel 1, and the oscilloscope is triggering on channel 2. So you can see here that's on about 1 kilohertz, so we're going to just match so that our two waveforms are in sync. Now, with our selector on channel 1, we're going to quickly see what happens when we push modulation, sweep, and burst. Now we'll change our selector to channel 2 and quickly go through those again. You see it's a little different because it's triggering off of channel 2. Now we're going to leave burst on so that we can show you what how to adjust the burst period. I'm going to adjust the horizontal so you can see more waves on the screen at once. And here you'll see pulse period. And we can adjust that. Just gives you a better idea of how your burst works. We recently integrated an SDG 1025 into an industrial machine for a customer in California. The machine uses an RF generator to ignite a plasma to create a particular coating. The normal amount of energy in this RF plasma is far larger than needed. We use the SDG 1025 to provide a blanking pulse, which shuts off the output from the RF generator 98% of the time. After the control system ignites the plasma at full power, it then applies the pulse from the waveform generator to blank out the signal from the RF generator. So we go to pulse, 
and then if you press on pulse width, this is where we've adjusted it to 98 and you can change it to whatever works for you. We've saved this configuration by using the store recall button. You push save, we're just leaving it at the default name. So now, in the case of lost power, or turned off power, you can easily recall this information anytime simply by going back to the store recall. Push recall when you're on the correct setting, and there your settings are back. We're just giving you a brief overview of the SDG 1000 series function generators today. We've touched upon a small subset of the adjustments that can be made to create the setting that best meets your need for test and development. These units are quite easy to work with and learning how to make the various adjustments is intuitive. They're also capable of interfacing with PCs. This is the easiest way to set up an arbitrary wave, for example. Both these signal function generators and digital oscilloscopes are available at www.mortoncontrols.com.